What are you doing here? Did you kill him? No! Wow, that's a lot of cigarettes. Otto doesn't even smoke. What do you think, Walter? His behavior is suspicious. We must be careful with him. What you are saying, Professor Clark, is very interesting. But from a Christian point of view, it does not make sense. It does, and I'll tell you why. You see, we need to embrace science and be more open-minded. Ancient Indian manuscripts clearly state it is possible to create soma. All we need to do is formulate the ingredients correctly. Professor, imagine for a moment the recipe actually works. What if it gets into the hands of opportunistic or evil-minded people? What happens then? A very good question, Father. I know a number of high-ranking officials in Germany have also sponsored expeditions to find the formula for Soma in Tibet. How do you know this? I have been advised through several channels. So, what do you think? I can say that the German Nazi party is controversial, to say the least. Sorry to interrupt, gentlemen, but I have also heard the Nazi party has been looking into Eastern and Western occult practices. I would be very careful if I were you, Professor. I agree. The Nazi party does not play around. By the way, I have not seen Claudia, Volta or Giovanni in a while. I hope they are all right. Help! Oh my god! Claudia! <laughs> Claudia, what happened? Someone attacked me! Walter, what are you doing here? I was going downstairs for dinner and heard Claudia scream, so I got here as quickly as I could. Thank you, Walter, for helping my... Um, Claudia, are you all right? Yes, Mr. Peterson. Just a little dizzy. Claudia, did you see who attacked you? No. Oh, I'm so scared. Don't... Walter, did you see anyone leaving Claudia's room? No. I didn't, which is strange. It is. Especially since you were the first on the scene. Otto, please. Oh, apologies. We need to search the room. Maybe we will find something interesting. Claudia, do you mind? Of course not. Great! I found a medicine chest. I should place that medicine chest on the couch and look inside. Hmm. Looks like the syringe I found in Dr. Hartman's room is from this chest. I need to get everything in order and see if the syringe fits. It fits perfectly. Claudia? Yes, Anna? When I searched Dr. Hartman's room, I found a syringe and it fits perfectly into your medical chest. Does anyone else have access to the chest? I'm not sure, but I think someone was in my room yesterday. While I was out on a walk. Do you know who it was? No, but I think it was Dr. Hartman. Thank you, Claudia. This doesn't make any sense. Dr. Hartman in a wheelchair on the second floor. Anna, could you please come to reception? I want to show you something. I examined the bullet casings you found in the backyard. Something does not add up. What do you mean? They seem very light for their caliber. And what does that mean? It means they were custom made. Therefore, they were probably fired from a custom made gun. Are you sure? You can use my weighing scale and see for yourself. You are right, Otto. They do look strange. What is it, Anna? Oh, Claudia. I did not see you there. We have just learned that the bullet casings found near Dr. Hartman are custom made. Actually, I wanted to talk to you about something similar. Yes? Did you see Walter's gun? No. It is custom made. And when I screamed while being attacked, Walter arrived almost instantly. And Walter was with Dr. Hartman when he was killed. So, so many coincidences. 
That is what I'm trying to say. Maybe we should tie him up or something. No, that is not a good idea. We have no proof, but we should watch him closely. I agree. Now, I want to check the cellar again. But why? It is scary enough here. Even more reason. Good night. Great! I found a pocket mirror. What an interesting item. I wonder how it got here. I need to look for more clues in the cellar. Great! I found the gloves. To my beloved Walter. Walter has been here. Something is not right. Who is there? I'm trapped. I need to get out of here. I need to figure out how to open the door. The door is open. I wonder who locked me in. Fresh shoe prints. A man's shoes. Very interesting. It is so late. Time for bed. How fine to be alive. I wonder who was trying to scare me last night. I need to hurry to breakfast. There may be some new developments. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Anna. Thank God you are well. One year. We were starting to worry. I'm fine, gentlemen. Am I the last one down? No, we are still waiting for Mr. Peterson, but I'm sure he'll arrive soon. While we're waiting for Mr. Peterson, I want to tell you about something that happened to me last night. What happened? It was late. I don't know, 11, maybe 12 o'clock. I was reading, and then suddenly the lights went out. But during snowstorms, lights do go out sometimes, Father. The strange thing is that the lights only went out in my room. How do you know the lights only went out in your room? Because I went to the hall and met Giovanni there. He told me that the lights in his room were working fine. Giovanni? <laughs> yes. No, I, I mean... I do not really remember. I was asleep and woke up hungry, so I went downstairs, grabbed a few snacks, and went back to bed. What time was that? I don't remember. Anna, you remember where you are all of the time? No. See? Me neither. I am a bad with time. I remember that I had a couple of slices of meat and a glass of wine. That is all. Gentlemen, Mr. Peterson is still not here. I think we should go upstairs and check for him. Mr. Peterson is not here. Something is not right. He always comes for breakfast at 8 o'clock sharp. I am worried. I think we'd better search the hotel. And maybe outside as well. I agree. I just want to check something in Professor Kinsky's room. What is it, Anna? Can I help you? No, it's fine. Something does not add up. I need to start from the very beginning. Professor Kinsky was killed on the first night. I need to check his room again to see if I can find anything new. Great! I found a gun! I have never seen a gun like this. It looks like it is loaded with the same bullets I found near Dr. Hartman. Now I am confused. I should go and check Ulla's room again. Something has changed since I was last here. I photographed this room for my diary. I need to compare how the room looks now with that photo. How odd. The clock face is missing. I will try to put the one I found in the yard in the frame and see if it fits. Yes, that is the clock face from the photo. Someone has taken it from here. Why? I shall join Otto and the others and see what they have found. They should be outside. Anna, come quickly! Have you found Mr. Peterson? I heard screams. Something is not right. Oh my! <laughs> is he? Yes, Anna. Mr. Peterson is dead. Someone stabbed him with a knife. It is suicide. What do you mean? He has killed himself. 
Why do you think he killed himself? He killed himself because of me. Because he loved me. What are you talking about, Claudia? He loved me, and so he killed himself. I doubt he killed himself. He seemed a strong man. Yes, he was. But I did not love him, and he couldn't bear it anymore. So he killed himself. I am sure of it. It is freezing. Let's return to the hotel and discuss it there. Yes, we are of no help to Mr. Peterson now. You go ahead, while I search for clues here. I will stay with you, Anna. Father, I don't believe Mr. Peterson could kill himself. Yes, it looks strange to me too, but what should we do? I do not know. There is nothing suspicious here. We should check the backyard. Someone was standing here. How do you know? Do you see the cigarette butts all over the place? They are fresh. Right. Someone was here. Did Mr. Peterson smoke? Oh, yes. He is, uh, was, a heavy smoker. So it was probably him. Let's look around. Great. I found a broken record. Look what I found. What is it? It is most interesting. A gramophone record of La Scala. Oh, that is not so interesting. A lot of records are released in Milan. Have a look at this. Lead singer Giovanni Rossi. Our Giovanni? Yes. And I believe this record was unreleased. What do you think, Anna? I'm not certain, Father. But I am sure all of these events are connected. Let's return to the hotel. Did you spend last night in your room? Of course I did. I was in the room. After a few slices of a meat and a glass of wine. Walter, what are you doing here? Mr. Peterson told me yesterday that he wanted to show me something important. Hello, you two. 